All right, y'all, that's one can of pineapple tidbits. Get all these out of here. Perfect. Just gonna get these spread. All right, now I've got one can of strawberry pie filling. Dump that right on top. I'm gonna get all this juice out of my can. Very good, all right, I'm gonna give this a spread. Look at that. We're making a real easy dessert today. We're making easy desserts to bring for the holidays. This might seem a little summery to y'all, but once you see it come together, I think you're gonna understand. Look at that. All right. All right, now I'm bringing in some banana pieces. I'm gonna place these here onto my pineapple strawberries. Look at that. This is, like I said, gonna be a real easy dessert you can bring to the holidays. It's a different taste. You know, I know we do a lot of pumpkin, apple, all that kind of stuff for the fall. That's uh, mainly what we've been doing. And so we wanted to just kind of put a little something different into the mix here. I know not everyone likes pumpkin. We get a lot of comments saying, I don't like pumpkin. And so if you're sick of pumpkin and apple, this would be a great alternative. Now this is really fun. I'm gonna show you, when I show you our next ingredient, you're gonna to totally get what this dessert is mimicking. All right, that looks perfect to me. All right, now I've got some walnut pieces. These are out of the shell. And you can use any kind of nuts you like. If you don't like walnuts, you can leave these off. But the fun part about what we're making right now is this is basically like a banana split. Ooh. I know, all in one. So that's pretty fun. We've got our bananas, our strawberries. We've got our pineapple as our base. That pineapple is gonna be so delicious with that strawberry. Then we got our bananas and walnuts on top. Okay. Now I've got one box of super moist, just yellow cake mix. I'm gonna put this right on top here. Oh, cool. Oh yeah. There we go. Using the whole thing. All right, and I've got Betty Crocker, but you can use whichever kind you like. Now my hands are clean and I'm just gonna give this a nice spread here with my hands since my spatula has already got strawberry goo on it and we're not mixing this in. We are making a banana split dump cake today. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. So good. Ooh. Got a walnut peeking out there. Just gonna cover him back up. Perfect, that looks so good. All right, I'm grabbing my butter from the fridge, keeping it super cold because I'm gonna show you this little trick that I'm about to put, use right now. All right, opening up my butter here. I'm gonna place it just like this because we all know the dump cake needs butter on top. Now I've got my hand grater for cheese. Ooh. Now I've got my hand grater for cheese and I'm gonna use my butter just like this to grate all on top here. Oh, wow. This is a really fun way to distribute your butter it doesn't get too thick. You've got a good way to like give it some even coverage here. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, I like the, the you can really control like where your butter is going when you're using it this way. I'm just gonna re-grip this a little bit closer to my top of my stick. There we go. And you can use, I think I'm just gonna use one stick on this. I was thinking I might use a stick and a half, 
but I'm not sure we're gonna need it. This is looking pretty good. I think we're getting a lot of coverage with this butter this way. There we go. What do you think, Marty? I think it's looking great. Thanks. All right, we are ready to put our, ooh, look at these layers down here. The pineapple, the strawberry, we got those walnuts in there, our bananas. We are gonna put our banana split dump cake into the oven. It's gonna be 350 for about 40 minutes and then we'll be ready to enjoy. Alrighty, look at our beautiful strawberry banana split cake, fresh from the oven. I am so excited for this, y'all. I've got some accoutrements to accompany this beauty, but this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna get myself a nice big scoop here. Ooh yeah. I love a dump cake. I love how easy it is. The cake comes out so good on top. Oh, yeah. Make sure I get all this fruit from down below. There we go. Oh, my pineapple, my strawberry. I'm getting that right on top there. All right, I got some fun stuff to put on. I've got my ice cream here. I've got my official ice cream scooper scoop, which I'm gonna use to grab a scoop to put on here. Woo! So excited about this, y'all. I got it on Amazon. It's just like the ones that they had at Thrifty back in the day. I don't know if your Thrifty still has ice cream. I feel like it's Rite Aid now. I think they still have the ice cream though. The last time I checked. Look at that, I got some nice little ice cream scoops on there. Like I said, this is a banana split, so I'm gonna put my Hershey's syrup right on top. Just like this, banana split cake, yum. All right, we got our Hershey's chocolate. I got some, a little bit of whipped cream, a little bit of sprinkles. Oh yeah. And one more thing to top this off. A maraschino cherry. Look at that. My wonderful banana split cake. So good. Can't wait to take a bite of this. So excited. And I love how easy dump cakes are. This is really good. Y'all have got to try this.